I started to be interested in my family pictures when I was living through my family album and found myself overwhelmed by an emotion that I could not define the origin of. These photographs were taken 40 years earlier, but the photos reawaken an anguish of something both familiar and totally unknown, the kind of disquieting strangeness that Freud spoke about. Those moments, fixed on paper, represented me, spoke about me and my family, told things about my identity, my place in the world. I decided to explore the memories of my childhood because it allowed me to understand who I am and to define my current identity. And to do so, I decided to use embroidery. Embroidering is primarily a feminine activity. In the past, the embroidered was seen as a paragon of virtue. Weighted was tied to this activity. Women embroidered, hoping for the return of the men to the home. Embroidery is intimately linked to the milieu in which I grew up. Girls in a good family used to learn how to sew and embroider, essential activities for perfect women. There is nothing subversive about this activity, but I pervert it with my words. I use its decorative function to reinterpret my own history and to expose its failings. 